Hello, welcome to another OpenSSL training lesson using the OpenSSL cheat sheet. In this video, we'll be exploring the commands in the inspecting RSA, DSA, and elliptic curve keys section. Now we've already explored some of the commands in this section, so we're not gonna go over them again. If you wanna check out the details of these commands, feel free to check out prior lessons. We're gonna be exploring the rest of the section in three parts. In the first part, in this video, we're gonna be looking at removing and adding encryption to private key files. In the second part, we'll be looking at the OpenSSL P key utility. And in the third part, we'll look at how to match key files to certificates and CSRs. With that said, let's jump right into our first lesson. In previous lessons, we generated these nine files. Some of these files were DSA files, some of them were elliptic curve files, and some of them were RSA files. In this lesson, we're primarily concerned with just the RSA files, so we're going to be using this command pretty often. This command is going to list all the files in the directory in one column that begin with the letters RSA. Now, when we initially generated these files, we generated RSA key 1 as an unencrypted key, and we generated RSA key 2 and key 3 as encrypted keys. We can see this if we take a look at the first four lines of each of these files. You can see that RSA key 1 goes directly into the key PEM format, and RSA key 2 and key 3 have this header, which is what indicates that these files are actually encrypted with AES-128 and DES, respectively. These RSA key files end up being imported to various devices or software, for instance, web servers, load balancers, VPN clients, and so on. And sometimes those devices expect the key to be imported in an unencrypted form. And other times the devices expect the keys to be imported in encrypted form. Well, what if you now have to import them into a device that expects the file in a different way than how they were originally generated? That's the task that we'll be doing today. It is in fact a very common task for engineers and system admins be able to add encryption or remove encryption from RSA key files after they were generated. That's what these two commands are gonna be doing. And I'm gonna show you both. We're gonna start by adding encryption to this file right here. That'll generate an encrypted version of that file. The command to do that is OpenSSL RSA. Then we're gonna feed into this command the key we mean to encrypt. Then we're gonna specify a symmetric encryption algorithm. Now, our cheat sheet mentions AES-128. That is an option just for the sake of doing something different. However, I'm going to show you AES-192. Then we specify the output file name. For this example, we'll go with RSA key one encrypted.pem. Then it's going to ask me for a passphrase by which to actually encrypt the file with. We're going to continue to use PRACnet, and I'll have to put it in twice. Just so you can see it visually, this is the password that I use for this particular file. And now if I do an ls, we can see that we have a new file in our directory. This is the encrypted version of this key right here. If we look at the first four lines of both of those key files, we can see our original key file is unchanged, but our new file right here has this encrypted header indicating that this file has been encrypted with AES-192, which is the cipher that we chose to use. So that's the process to add encryption to a particular key file. Currently, to access any of the content within this file, you'd have to use the same passphrase that was used to encrypt it. So if I want to convert that into text, it won't let me unless I actually put in the correct passphrase. So that takes care of showing you how to encrypt an RSA key file. Next, we'll show you the opposite. We're going to remove encryption from the file that we just added encryption to. The command for that is open a cell RSA. Then we're going to specify the file that we mean to remove encryption for. In our case, it's RSA key one encrypted. And then we're simply gonna specify the output file name, RSA key one decrypted.pen. Notice I didn't have to supply any additional arguments. The default behavior of OpenSSL RSA is to spit out the unencrypted file in pen format, which is exactly what we want to do in this particular case. So we don't need any additional argument. If I enter here, as expected, it'll ask me for the passphrase. I'll put in the passphrase, and it'll tell me that it is writing an RSA key. If I take a look at the contents of my directory now, we can see another new file, this guy right here. This is the file that is the decrypted version of this file, which was the encrypted version of this file. In theory, these two files are going to be identical. And we can verify this by running both of those files through a hashing algorithm. Now, if you're unfamiliar with a hashing algorithm, a hashing algorithm will take a file and calculate a digest, which ends up being a representational sample of that file. The idea is if you run two identical files through the same hashing algorithm, you'll end up with the same digest. 
And if there's anything that's different in either of those files, the digest will also be different. A common hashing algorithm is the SHA-1 hashing algorithm. And in Linux, you can calculate a SHA-1 hash using the SHA-1 sum utility. In our case, I want to run everything that starts with key 1 through this utility. This is going to calculate a SHA-1 digest for every file that starts with rsa-key1. If I enter here, you'll see right away the digest for the original file looks like this. The digest for the encrypted file looks like this. And as expected, it is indeed different from the unencrypted file. And of course, what we are actually trying to validate is that the digest for the decrypted file matches perfectly with the digest of the original encrypted file. This tells us both the original file and the decrypted file are 100% identical, which is exactly what we want to validate. And so that wraps up our lesson on showing you how to add encryption or remove encryption from an RSA key file after it was already created. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at the P key utility in OpenSSL. But that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.